Welcome to Hart County Public Library Outreach Virtual Storytime. We are so glad that you could join us. The month of February brings us a special day on the 14th, Valentine's Day. It is a day on which people exchange cards, candy, and flowers with their special Valentine. In this book, we have Polly the Little Piggy. Another name for a pig is a swine. Polly is unhappy because she doesn't have a special valenswine. This book is written by Teresa Bateman and illustrated by Christina Stevenson. On Valentine's Day, a little piggy began to mope and whine, for that pouting pig named Polly didn't have a valenswine. While the stallion had his mare, and even Ram said, I love you, Polly thought she had no one to send hearts and flowers to. She went slumping round the pig pen with a bad case of the grumps, till her mother asked her gently, Why are you down in the dumps? I have no valenswine, she sighed. I just want somebody sweet, someone with a loving voice to make me feel complete. I need a valenswine to feel all warm and full inside. She longed to have a valenswine so much she nearly cried. You need fresh air, her mother said. Go out and think things through. I'm sure you'll see, if given time, that someone here loves you. Polly puttered in the pasture, sniffing sadly through her snout. Then she sniffed again. That's something sweet. She quickly turned about. There were roses twining on the fence. Oh, Rose, you are divine. So please tell me that you will be my one true valenswine. But the roses didn't say a word to answer Polly's call. Her piglet heart was broken. She had no one at all. Her mother gave that pig a squeeze. Oh, Polly, please don't pout. Just look around. There's someone here who loves you. Tail to snout. Polly headed to the forest where she heard a sparrow's song. How pretty, Polly said. This time I know I can't be wrong. You have a lilting, loving voice. You make the morning shine. So tell me, Sparrow, that you'll be my one true Valenswine. The bird just kept on singing. She ignored that piglet's call. Poor Polly's heart was broken. She had no one at all. Oh, Piddle, said her mother, giving Polly a quick pat. I think you'll find that someone here can love you more than that. Polly wandered through the barnyard, spying fresh slop in the trough. She slurped and gobbled, gulped and chomped, then licked the drippings off. She felt all warm and full inside. Oh, slop, I love to dine, so please tell me that you will be my one true Valenswine. The slop just lay there, silent. It ignored that piglet's call. Poor Polly's heart was broken. She had no one at all. Her mother came and kissed her. Polly cuddled up, then sighed. I love you, said her mother. Polly felt all warm inside. Her mother's voice was loving, and her mother's words were sweet. Her smile made Polly warm and full. Her love made her complete. Oh, mother, Piglet Polly said, please say that you'll be mine. Right now, I see you are for me, the perfect Valenswine. Her mother smiled as Polly yawned. They snuggled by their stall, for Polly's big discovery was no surprise at all.